What's packing everybody, all you beautiful packer, backers, and Lambo lovers. It's your boy Godchild, first of his name. And I want to thank you guys for joining me for another video. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And most importantly, man, to me, I don't know how important it is to the algorithm, but to me, I want to see those comments full of responses to what I say to you know what you think about the video even if you think it sucks tell me what i need to do better but for sure man i want to engage in debate and, and 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 talk with you guys uh in the comment sections or on twitter man you can follow me as you can see at what's packing on the twitter so this video is about aaron Rodgers being the fastest man the 400 touchdowns as i actually did a video about this uh, the other day but this is going to be me reacting to what skip bayless said in response to aaron Rodgers being the fastest man of 400 they talked about it on undisputed with skip and shannon and i just want to respond to that but let's just jump right into it Touchdowns and brought them from 24 to 14 down in the fourth quarter to beat the Leeds that were in. So, like right here, I don't even know how they necessarily got on this topic because the question was, how impressive is it? And I, I just want to be on record as saying, I think it is very fucking impressive. I mean, only seven people in the history of the NFL have thrown for 400 touchdowns to begin with. It's Brett Favre. Drew Brees, Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, John Elway, I think is, 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 and this is in no particular order, of course, Philip Rivers and Aaron Rodgers. Those are the seven men that have done this. So to be the fastest to do it, I mean, it's like, how can you say that's not impressive, man? Like all those guys are going to be in the Hall of Fame, I'm sure. I mean, Rivers wouldn't be in my Hall of Fame, but I'm pretty sure He'll get in, you know, eventually, if not first ballot. But somehow they got onto this topic of Rogers, you know, Super Bowl. And I guess Skip Bayless is trying to say that um, ultimately Rogers has nothing to show for this except for one lone Super Bowl. And in that said Super Bowl, you know, he's, he's trying to say, I guess, that the, um, the, the, the defense wasn't as good as the Legion of Boom like when Brady faced them in that Super Bowl where he had to come back. And it's like, come on, man. Come on, man. Cut the shit, bro. Like, that Pittsburgh Steelers defense, I want to say, was like the number one scoring defense that year. Green Bay was number two. Uh, but I want to say that they were number one. I mean, like, these guys were no slouches. I mean, they had Casey Hampton, Brett Kiesel, Lamar Woodley, James Fer Ferrier, Lawrence Timmons, James Harrison, Brian McFadden, William Gay, Ike Taylor, Troy Palomalu, and Ryan Clark. It's like, come on, man. These guys were no slouches. And don't even talk to me about guys being hurt or injured when that year Green Bay had the most players on injured reserve in a season. 15. More than any other team had ever had at that point in time. And still went on to win a Super Bowl. And not only that, our very best defender got hurt in Charles Woodson during that game. And he missed half the game. In fact, the Steelers didn't even start really scoring points and moving the ball until Woodson got hurt. Yeah, they did victimize the ass. And I think it's like he, he makes good points. So Brady... That's why Brady's the GOAT right now, because he's done shit like that on a regular basis. What kind of argument is that? Right. Thank you. Thank you. Because you just go back and say, oh, I speak 
Signer resumes for the last four years until this year, Aaron Rodgers' numbers had fallen in QBR and passing percentage until he hit bottom last year. He, he had a QBR of 54 last year, which ranked 18th in the NFL. Mm -hmm. That's not very good. His completion percentage ranked 21st in the NFL. That's not very good. Mm -hmm. The year ended up after a shocking run by a Packers team that we kept saying, how are they doing this? Because it's not about Aaron Rodgers. It's more about Aaron Jones. No, no, no you and, said that. And to try to say because he's improved his QBR and his stats have jumped so much from the last year to this year that somehow – I don't know, like, you're going to, like, penalize him for that or say that what he's doing this year isn't impressive? I was there to say, if you're going to talk about how his numbers were down for the last four years, honestly, it makes it more impressive that he made it to 400 touchdowns faster than anybody when he had four years of his career, which at this point is, like, more than a third of his career, a third of his entire career as a starter, you're going to say his numbers dipped and yet he was still able to make it to 400 touchdown passes faster than any other human who's played the position and only seven people who's even been able to do this? Come on, that makes it even more impressive. By the way, he's the first player ever to have five seasons of 35 touchdowns or more. Oh, by the way. They got all the way to San Francisco where they got blown away, 37 to 20. And Aaron had in that game three turnovers that could have been, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, two, yeah, three. Two interceptions, one lost fumble, but he fumbled two other times. So he could have. Okay, so what he said right here is interesting um, about his performance in that, in that game uh, against San Francisco last year. Like, like he said, I mean, three turnovers in one game and two more that could have been turnovers that was that was recovered, two more fumbles that, that actually got recovered by the team. I mean, that's basically five turnovers committed. I think that that was his worst performance as a professional. And I would say that because of how careless he was with the football, all the turnovers that he did have, and just the, this, just the way that the team was just not focused, man. And it seemed like... Once the ball got rolling in the wrong direction, he couldn't recover. He just he just let it all fall. Um, you know, he just let it all kind of fall to pieces. You know, I really I do sort of I I personally put a lot of the blame for that loss on Aaron Rodgers. And I know that most fans are gonna say, uh, well, the defense gave up two hundred, you know, seventy rushing yards or whatever the fuck it was, two hundred plus rushing yards. And yeah, that's that's bad. But I would I would argue that because the offense was so abysmal and that they could not sustain drives, that the defense had to be on the field more than they should have been. And because of San Francisco's scheme and how much they run the ball, that's a very tiresome feat and a very difficult thing to overcome. Yes. Pro Football Focus wrote this when leaving Aaron Rodgers out of the top 50 current players yes. in the NFL. I mean, which is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Come on. I, I don't care how bad he would looked in the last couple of seasons or even last year. You know, even though he wasn't up to his standard, he's still a top 50 player. Rodgers finished the regular season the year before. Obviously, still. Last year. That's ridiculous. Number nine ranked quarterback in the league, but he was just 17 from week. Number nine ranked quarterback? No, period. End of story. You're over there gloating about fastest to four. I don't give a fuck. There, there's no, I mean, only two, only in the in last year, the only person I would have taken over Rodgers is Mahomes and, um, and, um, Lamar Jackson. 100 touchdown passes, and it got you what? It, 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 it got you some sort of weird high glory. I don't know what it got oh. you. And, and I didn't record this part, but Shannon mentioned how Skip made such a big deal about Tom Brady being the all-time touchdown leader now. And Skip saying, like, eh, I don't really care about that. It's great, it's nice, but it's really more of a longevity record than anything. And uh, I I kind of agree with that in a sense that uh, all of these all-time records, whether yards or, um, you know, uh, especially yards and touchdowns, there are longevity records. I mean, and, and Skip is ultimately saying, like, what do you have to show for one fucking Super Bowl 10 years ago? Uh, other than that, like, all the most memorable things that I have now are big-time 
embarrassing losses in big games and big moments. And to scripts to scripts to skips credit, honestly, I kind of I kind of have that same sentiment in in a sense, you know, like there's not a lot to show for being the fastest to 400, which, you know, means like statistically you're one of the best quarterbacks of all time. But in those big moments, there have been I have been left with a sour taste in my mouth. And I feel like Rodgers ultimately could have done more to put the team on his back. And to carry them and to just overcome the circumstances or, you know, the 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 situation or, you know, did something just incredible. So, you know, miraculous. Um, and, and, and he fell short more than I'm. I don't know, like just more than I would think someone of his stature, who is a walking Hall of Famer, ha- has fallen short. And, uh, you know, it is kind of a longevity record. Some of these records are. Uh, and I feel like Rodgers, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, he is going to be kind of one, two, or three in most of these records. Um, but it's like, as they say, availability is one of the, is the best ability. It's not, the, I don't think it's the best ability, you know. That's like, but it is, it is an ability. Availability is an ability. And those who are more available, less hurt. And, you know, that, that says something to the longevity. But, I mean... Um, I think that's pretty much that's pretty much the the gist of it. That's pretty much all I wanted to say. I just wanted to give my little opinion, my two cents on what Mr. Bayless had to say. I feel like he's kind of trolling Rogers here. He's saying that ultimately, this isn't impressive at all because he got his ass kicked by Tampa Bay <laughs> in week what was that week uh fucking six or some shit. Uh, and and that's 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 asinine, man. It's very impressive, man. I believe Rogers. Um, and I believe, I believe this year is going to be a different story. But uh, let me know, like I said, in the comments, what do you think? Um, please subscribe, like, shit, share, you know, share with your friends that are that are Packers fans or just football fans, man. And, uh, you know, hit me up on Twitter, man. Until the next video, as always, go Pack Go!